This is your moment. Don't tell me how bad you want it. Prove to yourself how bad you want it. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing get in your way. Every day you wake up, every day you breathe, you should be improving yourself. You should be taking steps to reach your destiny. Don't let nothing stop you. It's your moment. It's your time. How bad do you want it? Do you want it? Go after your dreams. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct. Woo, and I'm feeling amped right now. I'm feeling charged up. I'm ready, how about you? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let me hear you say I'm ready. Say I'm ready. That's right, say I'm ready. That's right, say I'm ready. Right now, I'm coming, from, coming to you from the subject, challenge what the future holds. Challenge what the future holds, right? In some cultures, right, they are born into families where if your father's a doctor, you're a doctor. If your mother's a homemaker, you're a homemaker. But what if your talents don't line up to you being a homemaker? What if your inside ambitions um, don't line up to you being a doctor? What if you want to be an entrepreneur? What if you want to have your own company? What if, you, what if you have those talents? What if you want to be a lawyer, right? What if you want to be whatever it is that's inside of you, right? What is it? What is it that's inside of you? You see, you can't let people put you in a box. You can't let people put you into chains or in prison mentally or spiritually or emotionally because you won't be happy, right? There's an old saying that misery loves company. But I want to tell you something. You can challenge what the future holds by the decisions that you make today. See, people look at where they are today and think that this is where they're always going to be. But let me tell you something. The decisions of your past put you where you are right now. But if you make good decisions right now, your decisions of today will put you in a better future tomorrow. But you got to be true to yourself. You got to keep it 100 with yourself. Yeah, your parents may want you to be a lawyer, but that's not what you want to be. Hmm? I'm talking to somebody out there. Yeah, the teachers may say that, you're okay, you're a good writer, and you like to write, but that's maybe not what you want to do. And you got to be honest with yourself. One, can I make a living at what it is that I really want to do? Come on, you got to believe in yourself before anybody else believing in you. Because if, any, if people can sense any type of weakness in you, right, that they, they're not going to go for it. They're just talking. they just, you know, messing around. You know, we got to stick with them on this, be hard on them with this. If we keep pushing them long enough, they'll give in. But once they see that you don't give in, once they see that this is what you really want, once they see you're putting in the effort, once they see you're giving it a thousand percent, not even a hundred, you're getting up and you're going to where you're supposed to go without people telling you. You're studying day and night. You're working a job to put your way through school. You're doing whatever you got to do to make what your dreams come true. Period. Point blank. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, challenging what the future holds. You're not wishing that things would get better. You're getting up there every day, step by step, making things get better. How about you? That's a bomb going off in my spirit. Boom! Are you ready to get up and challenge what the future holds? Or do you think that the way things are right now is the way that your future is going to be? Pick your head up. Get yourself up, right? You may have lost in the championship. Get up, and next year, get out there and win the whole daggone thing. This year is over. Yesterday is gone. All you got is right now and God willing, the future, right? You can't look at the past. You got to say, okay, the past has happened. All you can do is look in the past and say, where did you make mistakes at and what can you have done better? And then from that point on, say, you know what? I'm going to make some adjustments here. I'm going to make some changes here, but I'm not going to let the past keep me locked up in bondage because of what happened in the past. Today's a new day. Today's a new day. I got victory all over my life. That's what you got to tell yourself. I'm a winner. I'm not a loser. I'm blessed. Everything I put my hands to prospers in Jesus' name. I'm blessed. That's right. Everything I touch is going to succeed. And that's what you got to tell yourself. That's the inner conversation that you need to have with yourself because in order to challenge what the future holds, you got to do it on a daily basis because it's brick by brick by brick that you build your life. 
thought by thought by thought that it transformed who you are into who you're going to be. Right? And let me tell you one last thing before I get ready to close out. You have to become today the person who you want to be in the future today. You can't say, well, one day I'm going to be this. Well, before you become that, you have to become this. You got to transform yourself now. It's all about personal development. Would you rather sleep or would you rather grind? Right? Set, your, set, set those clocks if you have to. Would you rather get up at 4 a.m. or would you rather get up at 7 a.m. just so you can make the school on time? Or would you rather make it up at 4 a.m. so you can work on your book? Or would you work up, make up at 4 a.m. so you can study? Would you rather work up at 4 a.m. so you can get to the gym and put up 500 extra shots before everybody else gets there? See, what you're willing to do today will determine how your life will be tomorrow. But if you want an average life, do average things. If you want a me mediocre life, do mediocre things. But when you want a great life, when you want to go from good to great to the best, then you will put the best effort into everything that you do. If you don't, you're shortchanging yourself. But I know that you're better than that. You're better than that. And from this day forth, I challenge you to challenge what your future holds. This is your man, Mike Bowens. Until next time, be blessed.